Hi folks, welcome to cameracar.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at ways of reducing sweat sheen and other highlights or blowouts in images. We've got a lovely couple here, picture taken at, obviously at a party, looks like it could be a wedding or something. And unfortunately the camera looks like it's got an in-camera flash and that's blown out areas on the tip of the nose, on the cheeks and so on. The couple obviously look like they have worked up a little bit of a sweat. So today I'm going to show you a very simple technique which will allow you to essentially apply makeup to your subjects but after the photograph's been taken. To give you an idea of, of what the end result would be, this is the before image and this is the after image. As you can see, quite a dramatic change. Um, I've called this layer pancake and essentially that's the, the name for the makeup that's often applied um, to reduce um, hot spots and so on in imagery. So let's just delete this so we can start from scratch. And as I should mention that this is a non-destructive technique. We don't touch the base layer, the base image at all. Okay, But it's always important to work on a copy. Never work on your original. That's how mistakes are always made. So let's get started. We'll click on a new layer. The most important things here is to make the layer mode to darken. We then select a paintbrush. And I want to select a nice diffuse paintbrush because we're blending edges. So this 65 one, nice and blurry. Important to lower your opacity anywhere around about 20%. Have your flow at 100% and have your mode as normal. And all I'm going to do is zoom into an area. I won't do the whole image, um, simply because it would take too long. And once you know how to start, it's very easy for you to, to, to apply this technique to your own images. So we have our brush selected. If you don't know the keyboard shortcuts, the left and right square bracket decreases and increases the size of your brush respectively and you'd want a brush which is somewhat similar to the size of the hot spot assuming that there's no fine detail around it. The other little shortcut key you'll need to use is the out key and this is the option key on a Macintosh and what the out key does when you've got the brush um, selected is it takes a sample of a colour underneath and that's what we'll be doing so make sure you've got your layer, your new layer active I'm just going to call this pancake and then it's a case of selecting a colour which isn't blown out near the location where you want to apply the pancake click and then just dab and remove that sheen how simple is that again around the mouth the brush needs to be slightly smaller so I'm using the left bracket key Hold down out, sample a spot nearby the area which isn't, in sh isn't sheened up. And just slowly work from the edges in. And the idea is to go nice and slow and just very minor changes to your actual image. And all we're doing is toning down these highlights. And of course, because this is non-destructive, any time you want to see the before and after, just turn that layer on and off. And you can see the results are quite dramatic. So there you have it. We just go back out so you can see how the lady looks before the application and after the application of Digital Pancake. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very short tutorial. Um, there's going to be many more on creativecoil.com. Thanks for listening.